Welcome to Brain Stuff. I hope you survive the experience. Today I'm going to tell you how human beings are still evolving, but into what? I mean, like, where are our cool mutant powers that cause fear and hate and those we're sworn to protect? Where's my organic steel skin? Or my optic eye beams? And, you know, you're probably asking yourself this too. When can I join the X-Men? Contrary to the assertions of a certain charming bald professor, evolution does not leap forward. Most experts agree that to give rise to a new species, like mutants, we'd need some kind of geographic isolation from other humans. Otherwise, crossbreeding makes it less likely that mutations will be established within our gene pool. And with a densely packed planet full of planes and cars and trains, it's highly unlikely that we're going to find that kind of seclusion. Think of it this way. Genetic mutations are only passed down if they afford us some sort of benefit through natural selection. That doesn't mean that we have stopped evolving. In fact, over time, we've already developed powers. Sort of. Like, how about the power to dun 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 drink milk or fight disease or have tiny teeth? I ask that because these are the mutant powers that most of us are born with. Let's start with the milk powers, otherwise known as lactase persistence. Milk contains a sugar called lactose, and people need an enzyme called lactase to digest it. Most mammals lose this enzyme after they stop breastfeeding, but certain human populations have evolved so that their lactase production persists, allowing the digestion of milk. This was nutritionally advantageous, especially when we started domesticating cows and goats. Now this genetic genetic mutation is carried by more than 95% of people of Northern European descent. Researchers have also found signs of another set of human mutations that were devoted to fighting off infectious diseases. So afflictions like malaria or tuberculosis used to mean bang. You're dead. But over the last 40,000 years or so, we evolved to be more resistant to disease because our ancestors happened to have the right genes to fight off viruses and bacteria. It's true, but our mutant power to resist disease may not last much longer. As we become more dependent upon medications for survival, our immune systems will slowly weaken. The more the pathogens are defeated by drugs, the less our bodies will need these internal functions to withstand them. This is not to say that modern medicine or vaccinations are bad because, you know, without them, we'd see a huge increase in disease-related death, which I'm gonna assume you also think is a bad thing. So maybe milk powers or anti-disease genes are not what you were hoping for. What about smaller jaws and less teeth? Our ancestors had huge jaws so they could chew on tough foods like roots and nuts. And wisdom teeth helped them replace their worn down pearly whites uh, from tearing meat apart like wild animals. But today, our food is softer. It's easier to chew, and we use utensils to cut the portions we put into our mouths. Consequently, our jaws got smaller. Let me throw away my pantomime cutlery here. Our teeth are half the size they used to be, and we don't really need wisdom teeth anymore. They're already gone in some ethnic groups, and many predict that these teeth will disappear entirely. Okay, guys, I don't need telepathy to know that you think these are really lame powers. We have evolved mutations, just not the ones we dream about from comics or the big screen. But here's the question. If you could have any power, what would it be? Let us know in the comments, or you can tell us on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr. And if you want a regular dose of brain stuff nerdery, subscribe to the channel, or I'll stab you in the brain with the focused totality of my psyche. It's a Psylocke reference. We're fans of comic books.